kicked in my door and walked in. Oh, okay. So they, so basically it was, it was a break in an entering. Okay. Sure, I'll be salty too. You, know, you can't keep nothing these damn days, but right? everybody wants to steal something. When I hear stories like that, I'm glad I got security cameras. Like I got security cameras at the front door, the back, the side of the house. I'm glad I got security cameras, bro. But that's bullshit. Dude, I would have to go back and get all these damn Gundams. Yeah, it's a little late, but at least you're prepared now. You should prepare now. You learn from your last mistake. That's still fucked up though. Boy. Apparently they had they released three on a 360. I'm going to need to find that and hope it's backwards, backwards compatible. Um, and you know, nowadays on the new Samsung TVs and they announced this at one of the game shows, um, one of the things that they announced, it, it was a game show that they had this past summer. I don't know if it was the Tokyo game show or, or the one they had up in Sweden, but they announced that, well, Microsoft announced that any new android smart tv that was made in 2022 and going forward they you can actually play the xbox game pass on there so you don't need a system to play xbox games anymore basically you don't need an xbox console as long as you have like the android tv that was made in made in the year of 2022 any android smart tv like samsung tvs uh you know any tv like that they actually got the, you can actually play the Xbox Game Pass on there. And what's funny is that you can you can use the PS5 controller on there. <laughs> so they basically killed their own system. You don't need you don't need to have a system no damn more. Especially if you can just play it on the damn thing. Um, and on top of that, I'm playing the Xbox Game Pass on this gaming laptop, so. Any Xbox game I want to play, I can play it right on here. Casino Tekka Dan Home, eh? Mikazaki could no data, a model ticket, a car, could it a ten kaiga car to eat it? That's enough, but I don't have a new TV. So apparently, it's not backwards compared to I. Uh, あの攻撃が来る前に準備ができるってことね。クリスまで隊員たちを逃がしたとして、その後はどうするの？前にエドモントンまで護衛した若内東吾之助さんっていたよね。You know what? If you get lucky, I know I do have a 360 laying around. I'm gonna make my house sound like an airport with the with the fans. Hey, you might be able to find a copy of it on eBay for a good price, if anything, or, they, or you can probably go to Amazon and find a good copy of it, a good used copy. I'm trying to get my hands on the PS5 right now. The PlayStation take it forever for their little invite only thing event to work. It didn't take any time. People be online like, cray cray asking a hundred plus. <laughs> I'm not asking for nothing but attention. 
スショーカーに出たところを襲われるんだよ。その時、団員をかばってね。Oh, that's right, it's Monday. The new episode of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War came out. Matter of fact, I gotta do a video on the Wadden Reich and the Stern Ritter. And it should stifle. I, I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. But I'm gonna live stream the Thousand Year Blood War after I finish beating this game. Episode 3 came out today. Oh, and a new episode of Chainsaw Man came out too. Yeah. And if you're new, hit that follow button on, 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 uh, on my page. Because I'm going to do a video tomorrow and I'm going to be talking about all of the, all of the Stern Ritter. Because I read the manga like years ago. So I'm going to do my best not to spoil any of the major parts. But I you know, appreciate you, man. Um, but I'm gonna do a video tomorrow on the on all of the Stern Ritter, explaining their powers and everything, because I read the manga, so I know what's coming up. I follow you. It's been around for a while. Yeah. Well, follow, oh, you do follow me. Okay. Appreciate the love. I, I took a break for a minute because I got sick. <laughs> And I kind of slowed down on a lot of the videos, a lot of my common Rider videos and all that. Um, but I'm, I'm being active on here again, as you can see. Uh, it, it just took a minute. First I had COVID, then I had to leave work because I had uh, a herniated disc and all that. I'm, I'm better now. It's just, I was getting hit back to back this year, wasn't it? This year definitely wasn't it. I, I did ask caught COVID at the beginning of the year. Yeah. It was a rough combo. I haven't caught COVID since, though. It's like I caught it right before that little Omicron variant came out. Like, cool. Let me just go in and get this out of the way. My well, night sweats was not it. What's well, another one of those stages where the I want to ask a question, but someone else just joined. Um, what's the question? One of the twists in the Blood War arc was surprising, but not at the same time. No, look, I, I know about everything in the Blood War, so I'm just hoping that they change some things up because they got some questions that wasn't even answered. The one about Kimpachi, what about him? Uh, you mean Zaraki Kimpachi? Because the word Kimpachi is actually like a title. Like, that's not his his, his, his first name. I don't want to spoil him from all the guy in the chat. So there's no guarantee that he, he, he might not even watch Bleach. Now I got some people that follow me, they don't even watch anime like that. So, but we can still talk about him. Besides, all the stuff gonna get talked about tomorrow anyway in the video that I'm gonna do. Well, for the most part. Then again, I'm only talking about the Quincy's. Technically, every Kimpachi is the title. Then I'm gonna store. Yeah. Okay. So you mean. Zaraki then? Basically, the Kimpachi that everybody get, first got introduced into. Big strong man Kimpachi. That's the one you're talking about, right? Kenpachi Zoraki. Like, we know about the Sword Square, but the reveal was. Oh, yeah, so. That, okay, yeah. Yeah, the way he. was finally able to talk to his sword after all these. That reveal was ridiculous, bro. But then again, if you watch Bleach, you kind of seen it coming a mile away. Because. Technically, 
the scene of references. Yeah. And I actually looked up the previous Kenpachis. Like, he's like the 11th one, if I'm not mistaken. It's the first Kenpachi that was the, that was the big surprise. But then again, it all made sense. Because if you remember the, the, the first... Um, like the first season of Bleach, or like the first and second season of Bleach, like when when old girl used to be smiling, like yeah, let's see who was the pre yeah, but that's who he got the title from. But it's actually like some some questions that need to be answered there because if the way the previous, uh, but if the way the, the current Kenpachi gets the title is by killing the previous Kenpachi, technically, you know, the previous Kenpachi is alive still. So he never really, I don't know if, what you call him, granted him the title and just gave it to him after beating him in a, in a fight or something. But there's like nine Kenpachis in between Zaraki and what you, and what's his name? Like, I'm trying to avoid saying any actual names. You know, right. I mean, hers, hers, they chose to not kill us, so we just... Right. But then again, he had a fight. You know what I'm saying? One, and I think that happened. You know, like, he inherited the title, or maybe it was just turned over to him for winning a fight. Like he, like they didn't want to go all the, all the way with Mr. Rocky. I think someone else gave it to him because he was a strong killer. No, the, no I read it up. The one who got who he, who he got the title from was the person that he fought first. Like the same person that that he fought in the dungeon or in the lower part of that prison where um where um. Um, Eisen was when, when they went down into that prison and they fought that's who we got the title from but like I said it, it, it's some questions they gotta they really gotta answer so I hope they don't follow the manga too far without you know answer some questions like it was some bankai's that never got revealed. I mean, they kind of revealed them in like the light novels, like "Can't Fear Your Own World," uh, "Spirits Are Forever With You." You know, those light novels they explain some things. Even the other two Kenpachis that were notable, like one of them had a, a bankai that was so ridiculous that it got banned in the series. Kuriyashiki, I think it was now Kenpachi Kuriyashiki. He said, Kubo said that since he's he got to be all in it, that they stuck to the manga pretty close. I mean, pretty close, but I hope they change up some things that, you know, because at the end of that blood war in the manga, it was kind of rushed. Like, they kind of rushed it. So I think he was just trying to get a, he, he was just trying to get a break. Yeah, and, you know what I'm there was some bond cards that didn't even get a chance to get explained. You know what I mean? So, like, it can't be the end of it. Like, but, like we need to know what certain things do. But I will say this though, because they already basically explained it. For the people who listen to this. I'm pretty sure y'all seen the first few episodes of the Thousand Year Blood War animated anyway. So the medallion that uh, that a, a Runcar had used on uh, on Ichigo that was supposed to seal away his Bankai. The reason for that is well, all, all I'm gonna say is just look at his family tree. It'll explain everything. I mean, like what other continued story can they animate? I mean, like, what are, what, what are they going to animate the light novels? Yeah. 
it was one guy I wouldn't mind seeing him make an anime arc around. The light novels and Can't Fear Your Own World. Yeah, that's one of the light novels. Uh, Can't Fear Your Own World and uh, Spirits Are Forever With You. Can't Fear Your Own World is the book that was based around uh, Shuhei. Because that's when her band, that's when his Bankai was revealed. He didn't get a chance to do it in the blood in the Thousand Year Blood War. Even though Kensei wanted him to, he couldn't he couldn't use that shit properly. But by the time Can't Fear Your Own World came out, he supposedly mastered it. Even though they're not gonna talk about it. If you if you ever played the Bleach Brave Souls games, I wanna see our Cars new releases animated. I ain't read Thousand Year Blood War in a minute. Which Arvon car got a new release? I know Harabelle's still in there, but I don't remember her playing like any factor in the, in the Blood War. She, she just got caught and beat up. Yeah. And they were building. Which would explain why fucking Shinji never... Um, which would explain why Shinji never activated his Bankai during that Aizen fight. The one who can't fear your own world. Mm are forever with you. The one who always had his Bankai activated. All the releases they put into Brave Souls as characters. Yeah, the designs is actually good. But they got like different versions of every character. Though. And what was the name of that one dude who always had his Bankai activated? I'm, I'm trying to think of his name but I can't think of his name he was the one that um, um had that woman as his uh, Zong Bok -so. yeah it gets weird when you realize there's 40 different Ichigos <laughs> yeah obviously some of them not canon they just put them in there Now that I think about it, I would actually like for them to make a bleach fighting game. Like a real bleach fighting game, not like no anime arena fighter because they never last. But if they gave us a bleach fighting game, I'd be happy. Like they really need to capitalize on the styles in your blood war. We haven't had a bleach fighting game since, honestly, since uh, the Nintendo Wii. Every costume has its own character. Yeah, like they did a lot. They could do so much with the fighting. They really could. But here's the thing I'm afraid of. If they do a fighting game for Bleach, for whatever stupid reason, they're not going to pay attention to the history of the anime arena fighters and they're going to end up making it an anime arena fighter. Like, even if it ends up just being like a 2.5D, you know what I mean? Like, I don't mind. Like, make it in... Kind of make it in like the style of like a Tekken game or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, and I wouldn't mind that. Or make it in the style of the, of the Naruto Clash of Ninja games. You know, from the from the GameCube. Make it in that style. Like I wouldn't even mind that. But a complete anime arena fighter? That's ass. Like don't do that. Like, look, every anime arena fighter has flopped. Besides the Naruto games, every anime arena fighter has flopped. One Punch Man, a hero but nobody knows, died within a couple months. Bleach, uh, not, not Bleach, but uh, My Hero Academia One's Justice, that died quick. Jump Force, sad to say, that game 
became irrelevant before the year was over with. Fucking, uh, that Demon Slayer game died before the new year. That game came out in October. By the time December came, wasn't nobody playing that game no more. And they stopped putting DLC out for it. Yeah, that would basically be a Musa title. They basically got that with, um... They basically have that with, uh... With, um, what you call them? They basically got that with Brave Souls. I think it just make it in like look, when it comes to a bleach fighting game, if they would just make it the way it needs to be made and not do an anime arena fighter, I'll be happy. And give us the up-to-date characters too. Don't give us like 50 different versions of Ichigo and all that shit. Like that was a problem that uh that Dragon Ball Fighters had. They gave us every version of Goku and Vegeta to where all you can play is with is Goku and Vegeta. Like, damn. There's other characters and shit. Give us Farmer with a shotgun. Massive mass with control force mini balls. That would be cool, but, but but that would be going down the line of like an MMO. Like a World of Warcraft or something. Which I wouldn't mind. Well, whatever the case may be, it needs to be like an open world. A one-on-one -on -one style. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a one-on-one -on -one style beach fighting game, which they have had before. So they got the history to work with it. It's just... Right now, we're living in an era of anime arena fighters. Yeah, exactly. Like, we don't want another cash grab. That's the last thing we want. The last thing you want is an anime real fighter. They don't do well. They're unbalanced. They don't get no support. So there's no... Like, there's no reason to... You know what I mean? Like, there's literally no reason to... Um, support that style of game. So I'm still kind of heated that they fucked up Demon Slayer. I don't know how you fuck up a game like that. That was one of the best animes you did in an anime. Not only did you give us stupid DLC, like they they just that was a that was, that was the definition of a cash grab. They put characters in the game that they put clones of all the characters in the game which they didn't have to do, which nobody asked for, and then they gave us bullshit DLC on top of that. I'm so happy I didn't buy that shit. Oh. I can never remember the name, but the realize great she. But the real, I can never remember her name, but the realization she was a source of her. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know it. Like I know her name, but um, I'm not gonna say it on the stream. Yeah. She was pretty much, you know. That's why I said it was always like a, like if you go back to like the earlier Bleach episodes, it was an episode where it was like pretty much she revealed, like we all know she was, but it was being told she was, yeah. But they made it real obvious. I'm the only one here, that's why I bought, I bought it. Could I? I bought it to it, bro. This is dead. But I know this place. That's right. This is the time. I almost feel bad. Because even though tomorrow I'm going to be talking about just the Stern Ritter. And, uh... And Yuha. I made it more crazy than that she had... Yeah, she did. <laughs> that was crazy. Hey, but you know the person that she was fighting was that she was fighting against 
she was just the that dude that she was fighting against in the Thousand Year Blood War, that old man. He was just a figment of uh of uh Sternritter V's imagination. Cause you know his ability was he can anything he imagined he could create. And he was just one of his creations. But that was a good fight though. I, I liked his powers though, the vanishing point. Him and his sword was so strong. She had her own power. <laughs> facts. And you know one thing people gonna be surprised about? Right, but he wouldn't create something for her to use against him. Nah. Now you know one thing people gonna be surprised about is the Soul King. Like the Soul King got his hands in everything, literally. And that's not even giving away nothing. That's just that's just foresight. Not a soul king. Well, I wasn't surprised by uh, I wasn't surprised by Ichigo. 